Last week, I had mentioned that uh, I had put in a uh, an order with uh, Google Fiber, G Fiber, <clears throat> to install uh, Google Fiber into our house. About a year ago, they uh, came through our neighborhood and they buried a, a fiber optic cable in the front of, of the house out in the street, and. Uh, and it's taken me almost a year to make the decision to give them a shot, see if Google Fiber would be better for us, <clears throat> offering incredible speeds, that sort of a thing, um, compared to the old uh, DSL service that we've been using for the last several years. So they came out uh, on the prescribed, they actually came out a day earlier than they said they would start the install. And the two guys came out and they trenched a cable into my yard. <clears throat> And so they, I'll show you this uh, cable that they were using here. Let's swing this camera around so you can see it. This is, a, as far as I know, this is, a, uh, uh, this is the fiber optic cable that they buried. They, this is a scrap that they had cut off as they were working on it. It's a remnant of the cable. And it's a... Uh, it's a direct bury type cable because that's what they did. <laughs> Directly buried it into the yard. And uh, so that's kind of a souvenir of fiber optic cable. <clears throat> and so the way they did it is they, uh, if you look over there all the way into the corner behind those, in between those two trees, there's actually out on the street there a, uh, a box that's buried in the ground. It looks a lot like the type of box <clears throat> and box cover that you would have for an underground sprinkler system. And they went out there and they started digging from that corner and they followed along the hedge over there to about just to the uh, right of that uh, tree over there. And then they started uh, moving in towards uh, the house and, you know, it was kind of, I don't know, they didn't go very deep with their trenching. They actually just hand dug it with shovels. And it wasn't quite as cold or <laughs> bad as it is right now weather-wise. Uh, the ground was pretty soft. <clears throat> and they, it didn't take them long at all to trench the cable in. And so they trenched it. They sent it right over here. It kind of came up through the yard here and over towards the house where it comes into the house and when they do this it's called a fiber drop onto the property and so that's what they did is they did this fiber drop and it goes into that gray box right there that's called a, a network interface unit at NIU and they installed that box the people that dug the cable in and uh, so then once they had that they coiled up the uh, that black fiber optic cable that I was showing you and they just left it on the exterior of the box and uh, waited for the next guy that actually makes the connection and that was gonna that actually happened the next day so uh, they came out here I had them scheduled at 10 a.m. and I'm gonna turn this camera back around so you can see me um, they were scheduled at uh, 10 a.m. and they came out here and the technician had some equipment and he actually terminated, cut and terminated the fiber optic cable at both ends out on the street and uh, there into the NIU <clears throat> and uh, finished, finished his part of the job in about 30 minutes it did, or 30 or 45 minutes, it didn't take him very long. <clears throat> and then after he's done, then the, the next technician comes out and uh, he was scheduled, I think, for 10.30 and, uh, or 10 o'clock. And uh, I got a phone call about 10 minutes to 10 from Google Fiber apologizing that the technician was going to be about 30 minutes late. Uh, please accept our apology, blah, blah, blah. And so about 15, 20 minutes uh, after the phone call, the guy shows up and very professional, <laughs> ready to go to work. And it didn't take him very long at all <clears throat> to do the rest of the installation inside of the house. And uh, so I'm going to take you into the house and show you what they did from that NIU box um, <clears throat> and how they uh, 
actually got it up and going in our house. So uh, come on, I'll take you in the house and show you what, what that was like. All right, so now we're in the house and I'm gonna show you, I'm standing on the uh, interior of the house on that wall that had the uh, NIU unit. And I'm going to show you where the cable actually came through. And uh, that's right down here. Now this is still a bit of a mess. I haven't really got all the cables set the way I want. Uh, so this is where the uh, uh, fiber actually comes into the house. That box over to the left is called, the, I think that's called the fiber box. And uh, there's actually, I wanted them to, there's a couple different ways they can actually get the fiber, but this black cable here is actually, that's fiber optic cable that goes into that black, or into that little white box there. And I think what that box does is it converts it from fiber to ethernet. And then the white cable coming out of the bottom here goes over here to the Wi-Fi 6 router, which is setting right there on top of an old antique amplifier system that I need to get rid of. And uh, so, so that's pretty much the electronics uh, <clears throat> on this part of the house. <clears throat> now there is a Wi-Fi extender that goes with this and I'll show you that in just a second as well. But I've just got it plugged in. Unfortunately, it needed two plugs, one for the uh, fiber box there and another one for the Wi-Fi 6 uh, router, which is over there. And uh, the next part of the installation, there's one more box, it's called the extender. And what it does is it, uh, it just you know, expands the amount of coverage that we have around the house and actually out even into the yard, which makes it kind of nice. It works on some sort of a back channel uh, that allows the uh, range of your uh, Wi-Fi service to be extended considerably. And you can use a, <coughs> either a hard <coughs> back channel, an ethernet back channel, or an RF back channel. And in our case, I've just, uh, for now at least, just got it set up on an RF back channel. So let's walk over and I'll show you the, uh, the extender. Okay, now we're in another part of the house and that little white triangular shaped box here is the uh, Wi-Fi extender. And it's, uh, it's dual band, but it, it switches automatically and I don't really fully understand how it, it negotiates that with the uh, with the device that's attached to it, whether it's going to operate on a 2.4 or a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi channel. And nor do I understand how the, this extender and the Wi-Fi 6 router that I showed you a minute ago, it works somewhat like a cellular service in the sense that it <clears throat> it actually switches as you move around through the RF field, it'll actually switch you from either the extender or back to the router, depending on where you are in the house. Uh, the idea being to give you the best possible uh, connection, you know, to get a good signal to noise ratio. And so those other two little appliances, this is an old antique phone that I have. It's actually etherneted into the back of the router right now. I, it's a, a, a Google Voice connection, <clears throat> and that's an OB box that makes the connection for the uh, um, for the phone into the into the router so that that's how we do local phone service in addition to our uh, uh, cellular phones so I'll show you one more thing here and then we'll wrap this up okay this is a, a laptop that I have down here and uh, it's uh, connected wirelessly through the Wi-Fi um, to the Google Fiber, and I think the it's probably attached because it's closer to the Wi-Fi 6 router than to the extender. And this is one gigabit Ethernet that we have, and you're never going to operate as fast as advertised, and especially if you're going through the Wi-Fi. Um, but if you look here, I just ran a speed test, and uh, if, I hope that's legible, but it shows that a, that test that I just ran had a 511 megabit per second uh, download and a 507 megabit per second upload. I'm gonna rerun the test here and see if we get a different number. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit slower, maybe not. There's 500 and 540 megabit per second download and uh, 565 megabit per second uh, upload speed and the uh, 
the ping was 11 milliseconds. It's usually a bit faster than that. It's usually around 5 milliseconds. So anyway, that's just to uh, give you a sense for it. I'm sure it would run faster. Th this uh, laptop actually has an Ethernet port on it. <clears throat> I could plug it into the back of the router, and I'd probably have speeds, <clears throat> assuming that the computer was up to it, uh, closer to 1 gigabit. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make this one brief video of the... Uh, new internet service through Google Fiber that uh, we signed up for. Hope you're all doing well.